Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Oscar here again and today we're going to be doing a little um, continuation of the um, leaded versus non-leaded casino chips video that I did. Um, there were some people that didn't know and then um, I got some more information from a few people like Jim Fallis, uh, David Sprague, and a few other people on chipboard. As well as those I didn't know, um, they were kind of surprised. So, let's take a look. So this chip I was at the SNCCC meeting at Gold Coast last night, and Mr. Jim Fallis got, went ahead and brought this. Um, he posted this on the chipboard as well. So this is a Christie and Jones chip. Um, I believe, for some reason, I think it was in some type of fire damage. Um, but not sure. Let me put this, might be easier just to post a picture of it too, but, um, I mean, it definitely shows that it was in some type of, whether that was a fire damage or what, but the inlay on one side has completely come off, it's been cancelled, and then on the other side, uh, the side that you see right now, the inlay seems to be coming off as well. But the main idea for this is that piece right there in the middle, that kind of blackish, gray, dark gray looking thing, that is the lead. So similar to like pencil lead, um, it's the same type of lead basically, but like I was saying in the video, some of these chips that were leaded, they had these metal or the, the pieces of circular lead in the middle. So as you can see it there, it's right in the middle, but the interesting thing about this chip is that if I go ahead and weigh it, um, it's not that heavy at all. For some reason, Christian Jones chips, they seem to, um, or at least in, in my kind of knowledge, they seem to be more so a little bit on the lighter side of um, leaded chips as opposed to like TRKs and Paulsons, but this one is weighing in at 10.73. So definitely not, I mean, it's heavier than what you'd expect from a non, uh, uh, a non leaded chip, but it's definitely got the lead inside of it. And then this chip, um, the El Morocco 50, 25 center here, if we look at chip guide, it has the order form on there. Now, David Sprague said um, on chipboard, I'll post the thing on here, but uh, let me pull it up as well on my computer. If we go ahead and look what David said, up until the 1980s, some chips where customers requested super heavy contained a piece of lead shot in the center. Mostly Christian Jones had cane inlay chips. Weighting was also achieved through lead powder, tungsten powder, or brass powder. The word weighted on an order card could refer to any three of the any of those three. It doesn't necessarily mean lead. So. Meaning that, let's say we look at this chip. This chip's order card on PCF says weighted chips, or weighted uh, weighted crown dash chips. So this is El Morocco Club 25 center, and this one comes in weighing at 11.6, and the Sierra Tahoe chip 10.7. So almost a whole gram difference between these two chips, both of them being Either we definitely know that the Sierra Tahoe is leaded because of the lead shot in the middle. I'm gonna take a guess that this El Morocco Club is leaded and no other kind of powder just because it was manufactured in 1958, towards um, a little bit towards the beginning of um, gambling here in Vegas, but. I just wanted to make a quick little continuation video showing you guys that there are these chips out there that do have these um, lead pieces in the middle and kind of what it looks like. So if you're curious and you wanted to find out, uh, maybe take a chip from the same era as the Sierra Tahoe chip here and let's say it's in poor shape. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and do a little experiment, or you could just take your scale and just weigh it out, see what happens, see what it says. If it's over 10 grams, definitely um, most likely gonna be leaded or weighted. 
Um, if it's anywhere above 10 and a half, then definitely if it's over 11, then you definitely have um, a leaded or weighted chip. So just wanted to make a little continuation video about that. And uh, yeah, SNCCC meeting last night was pretty fun. Um, had some good action on the auctions, which was really interesting. Um, I was kind of surprised at how things went. So lots of fun, met some new people, um, got an awesome new chip and uh, overall just super fun. So thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and share the video with your friends. It mean a lot. And uh, it's been Oscar. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.